Hi team, this is Chris Abram from GoMath. Today we're going to work on number 99 on the FTC K-6 through practice exam. It's a great problem here designed, uh, it focuses on number sense and operation uh, properties and it's going to help review some of those core concepts that are on your teacher certification exams. Let's take a look. Which of the following illustrates the pro property reciprocals? Okay, I guess there's a typo. You know, there's, there's always typos in, on these practice exams, uh, but this one's a pretty big one. But it's talking about the reciprocal property. That's the idea here. So what is the reciprocal property? And then it gives you some scenarios, and it's uh, these scenarios, we're looking to see which one of these scenarios uh, matches up with the reciprocal property. And now you can take a few moments and read these over to yourself. I want to take a few moments and talk about the reciprocal property. Here's the idea with a reciprocal. Let's say I had the number 2, and I want to multiply it by its reciprocal. Well, 2 really is really could be expressed as 2 over 1. Okay? There's an implied 1 underneath the 2. And what you do with the reciprocal is you flip it. The reciprocal of 2 would be actually 1 over 2. I flip the numerator and denominator. Now when you multiply by reciprocals, so now we're taking two fractions and multiplying them together, and you've got to remember your core rules on how to multiply fractions, which is you, you multiply the numerators together and you multiply the denominators together. That's like multiplying the tops together and the bottoms together. You get 2 over 2, and in this case it would be 1. Whenever you multiply a number by its reciprocal, it always comes out to 1. All right, let's try another one. Let's say I had 1 one-third, and I wanted to multiply one-third by its reciprocal. Well, one-third's reciprocal, I would flip the numerator and denominator, so that would be 3 over 1, and when I multiply it across, it would be 3 over 3, and when I reduce it, it would just be 1. So whenever you multiply a number by its reciprocal, you're always going to get to um, the answer of 1. Now, which one of these scenarios, when we multiply by its reciprocal, gets to 1? I think if you read these closely, you would have seen the product of 31 and 1 over 31 equals 1. And that's kind of the idea here. Now, I work using the reciprocal becomes extremely helpful when we're dealing with more advanced concepts. For example, if I had, let's say, uh, 2 times b plus 4 is equal to, you know, uh, 36. One way I could get rid of the 2, I, you could say divide by 2, but really what we're doing is we're multiplying the 2 by its reciprocal, 1 half. And the same thing with the 36, 1 half. Now this is, using a reciprocal really helps you um, work through algebraic calculations like these ones right here. Some people say, well you're just divide by 2. That's true, but Dividing by 2 is the same as multiplying by 1 half. All right? So if I did 2 times 1 half, these would cancel out because I'm multiplying by the reciprocal. And 36 times 1 half would get you to 18. And then my equation would be a lot more simpler to solve. And my it's an, actually an algebraic equation. I could work through it and come up with some sort of uh, value for b. All right? So you know, un understanding how to use the reciprocal, this is... Understanding how to use a reciprocal is going to really help you when the problems get more advanced for algebraic uh, calculations, all right? Okay, team, I hope you found this helpful. This is Chris Abram from GoMath. Have an amazing day. Take care. Bye-bye. Hi, team. I want to encourage all teachers that need some extra help on the math to check out one of the GoMath workshops. We're holding them in Massachusetts and in Florida to help teachers uh, get ready for the teacher certification exams. Check it out. I'm sure you'll find it very helpful.